This time on Fishing and Adventure. Solid. Yep, straight away, away. Eh? Hey, Good nice. Fish. Here we go. Hey team, it's Scott and Mig here from Fishing and Adventure. Now you're about to watch a full episode that was made for TV right here in New Zealand and we're stoked to be able to bring it to you here on YouTube. We've got heaps of content on our channel, side missions, vlogs, how-tos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit it. and join the adventure. Yoo With an abundance of fishing opportunities surrounding us, it's often easy to ignore some of the more accessible and productive areas as we go searching far and wide for those elusive trophy fish. One of the most consistently productive and extremely accessible spots would have to be the Firth of Thames. Situated just over an hour north of our home base in Hamilton, Thames is the gateway to the Coromandel Peninsula. The Firth is a large bay at the southern end of the Hauraki Gulf, which is home to an abundance of fish life and has a large aquaculture presence, mainly in the way of mussel farms. These farms not only produce huge numbers of mussels for commercial harvesting, but they provide a haven for thousands of fish, mollusks and crustaceans, some of which recreational fishers happily take advantage of. Well, we picked a pretty good day for it, Mig. What do you reckon, mate? Oh, yeah. Conditions are perfect. Absolutely. Here in the Firth of Thames, in the mussel farms. Today is where we're going to get our challenge fish, hopefully. What do you reckon, Mig? Snap it first up. Snap it first up, throw some stray lines out, maybe some ledger eggs and some snapper snacks, and yeah. we'll get into it. See, we've got a working barge over there, another one over here. Those guys are producing a nice burly trail as they harvest the mussels, so that'll be our first plan. Get in around those guys, see if we can't drag out a couple of nice snaps. Rig them up, Mig. Sounds good, mate. Plan. Fishing the harvesting barges is a very successful way of catching fish, but some common courtesy rules apply. The relationship between the barge workers and fish shows is a good one if you stay clear of their working area and don't tie up to the ropes they're working on or get in their way. To these guys, snapper are pretty much considered to be pests as they demolish large numbers of the new mussels. So, taking snapper is mostly encouraged by the harvesters, but do be respectful of their work and their workplace. Yep, yep. Yep, solid. Here we go, first cast. And that's what the natural burley. Well, it's natural from the mussels, but it's the guys harvesting which is creating all of that gunk and waste and all the excess. Snapper come right up and feed in this, um, in this burley. I and mean, we've got shags going in everywhere, obviously, and all the, all the excess probably feeding on all the bait that's there. Good fish. Nice fish, yeah. Here it is. Yeah, it's good fish. Here we go. Yeah, not a snapper for the first cast, Mick. <laughs> oh, hang on. All right. It's a great start. That's a beautiful eating fish. But uh, like I say, first one goes back, so back of the drink, friend. Sweet. Good start. Another, another barge snap. It's just a nice little penny, I think. Another good one for the bin, though. Oh, nice size. Really nice size. Oh, yeah, Mick. Yep, I'm on. Oh, near the net. Softies are awesome for yep. around, Ooh, yep. around these working barges because you can flick them right in under that burly trail. Yep. And the closer you get, that's where these guys are hanging out. Awesome. Oh, there we go. How many do you want for the bin? I'll get this one back, eh? Yeah. Beauty. Back in the drink. Go the barges. The way the mussels are farmed is with hundreds of ropes that run from the surface to the seafloor, and each rope is covered in mussels. The area is pretty much full of fish all year round, so the barge turning up and beginning harvesting is a big old dinner bell for the snaps below. 
The area comes to life and it's not uncommon to have snapper breaching the surface as they feed on the excess of mussels and small fish that get deposited as the barge processes the haul. Yep, straight away, away, eh? Yeah, mate, that's a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Talk to me, Nigel. Yeah, it's hanging. See the solid one. No, that's a big snap. I won't cast. Try and get him away. Come nice around the back, mate. Yeah. Take us out of there, Ben. Yeah, he's taking us into the ropes, boys. Woo! It's always a bit stressful when you get a nice fish around these ropes. And he hit it right on the surface, absolutely like, didn't even, whew, didn't even drop at all. See, the soft bait combo is perfect for this stuff. Accurate. The accuracy of the cast is nice and, that's a good one. Change to, well, I just, I had a quite light jig head on, but changed up to a, to a one ounce jig head. One, the current's running, so that just drops it down nice and quick, but also just your control of your cast is, is a lot better with a nice big one ounce jig head. Be about 10 pound fish. Oh, eight pound fish. Yeah, yeah mean nice. fish. <laughs> Stoked. That's the one. Awesome. He's happy to see you. He's me. happy to see me, and I'm happy to see him. <laughs> Stoked. I don't know who's happier, to be fair. That's a nice little fish out of the out from under the barge. I'll whip that softy out, and he's. And um, the bin. We'll he's let him do his thing. He's got bin. You gotta let him go. Let him carry no, on. Let him go. We've got a few in the bin already. Let him carry on leaking everywhere. Yeah, bang on. Epic. Back in the drink. All right, we got him out. Now tank around the old boy over there. He untangled me, and we're fighting again. <laughs> there he is, Mick. Oh, he's not a monster, but we'll need him anyway. You need him, need him? Oh, no, I'll lift him in. Oh, there he is. Another one for the bin, or let him go? Oh, I'll probably let him go. We've got a pretty healthy looking bin in there. Sweet ass. All right. Now I'll put him in the bin. That's a good size for the bin. <laughs> We're in that fish. As expected, the barge finished up working these particular ropes and moved off to a new area. Rather than chasing them around, we decided to set up near where they had just been processing to see if we could find some bigger, warier fish. All right, so I've moved away from the barges. The plan now is to fish in this area. Just here, just in between two sets of boys. So Mig's gone up the front. We've got one of these frosty hooks here. I made Frosty's contraption. It just hooks into the eye of one of the uh, muscle boys, and then a rope comes off that. Back to the boat. We can just sit in between the uh, two lines of ropes. You've got ropes, obviously, all the way down there. Ropes all the way down there. We don't want to be tangling with the ropes. So these little contraptions will allow us to get right up into the middle here, fish the clean area, and hopefully catch our challenge fish. So. Hook it up there, Mick. All right, hooked her on. Bring it back, throw her on. Perfect, mate. Easy as that. Let us back a bit. Fairly simple straight line rig. Just 15 kilo mono onto our Black Magic Swivel. 60 pound tough trace. And I've just got a 7 bar o KLT, which is a non-offset recurve hook, which is a great little hook we've found. And just running with a couple of pillies at the moment, straight through the eyes, slap it down there, nice and easy. They're hitting these baits pretty hard, so it shouldn't be too long. We'll have a nice slap. Put our 5 bar o KLT hook straight through both looks like that. That little ball sinker on there and float that down the early trail and hopefully it's gonna catch our challenge fish. But nice and simple. Straight lining is what we're gonna go with here and um, yeah, that's a good a bait as any, eh, Mick? What do you reckon? Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Holy hell. Boom. Yep. <laughs> Bella! It's not even there, man. Just like right there. Yeah, right below the boat. That burly's working a treat. It's on that flapped up Mackie. That would have only been like maybe 10, 5 metres? Yeah, that's it. These, these snapper <laughs> are used to working up and down the water column. That's it. Used to getting the feed all the way up and down. 
So barges are working, they're right up tails out of the water almost. Yep. Putting a nice bend in the scale dragger. We know this rod's up for it, eh, Mick? Oh, yes. Ooh, doesn't, doesn't look small. No. Bit of a murky. Sitting in that current. Oh, yeah, nice yeah, fish. Yeah, boy. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! Hey. Nice. Yeah. There we Boy's go. Not far off that challenge weight. He's not quite there. Yeah, oh, you're on there. All right. Now we're talking. Yeah. We don't have to drag them out of any bush here, so I can afford to let them run like I did with that fish. Corner of the mouth. This comes out nicely. Just a bit of a small hook. That's exactly what you did. It does, did its job, though. That hook. So you would have noticed it. Just, the fish just runs. And you don't need a strike, you just, just flick the reel into gear, and just let it come up tight, and that hook just rolls around nicely in the corner of the mouth perfectly, pretty much every time. So it's only a little hook, but plenty of grunt, very sharp. So, yeah, good fish. He's happy to see me as well, Mug, I think. Is he? Yep. Oh, crikey, do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this guy's melting everywhere, so uh, and he looks like he's fighting fit. Good sized fish, not quite the challenge fish, so I'll pop him back in the drink. Yeah. There he goes. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right, that bait is probably good to go again. So I'll put it back down and hopefully catch another one a little bit bigger than that. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Holy hell, that's a run. A good fish. Solid fish. Get him, Mick. Keep him up. Oh, he's peeling too. Well, you've got 15k line, 10k rob, you'll yep. be right. Here he comes. Do you want to snap the X Factor? Snap him. Nice oh, snap. snap. Right on the surface. Yeah, epic. Hardly dropped. You got the net there, Benjamin? All right. Got him away from those ropes too, this first, first 30 seconds of the fight. You probably need to run away. now. What is he? Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Oh, I don't him out. Try to lift him out of the water. He's super green still. Yeah, he is. There we go. <laughs> okay. Hey, Good nice. fish. Woo. Good stuff. Cheers, Ben. Thanks, mate. Is that on the pili conca? It's just a little pilchard. Yep. yep, it's doing the damage so far. Nice. Oh. Anyone watching at home, do not do this with your fingers, because you won't have any fingers left. No, it's lassoed itself. No, it's just, Look at that. It was just, yeah. <laughs> Wow. There you go. Look at those front teeth. Crunch. Obviously come in, crunching on all those muscles, warm those down. But he's fighting fit. We'll get him back in the drag. Yeah, there he goes. All righty. <laughs> yeah, see ya, mate. He was always going to swim off. All good. Get that pilly back down. Nice. I'm hungry. Past lunchtime and we didn't get a chance to go to the supermarket last night because we left too late. So Ben's getting in the drink. We're going to try and grab, gather us up some uh, kaimawana, hopefully in the form of some scollies, maybe some mussels. Ain't that right, Ben? You all good? Us, mate. Ready to roll? Okay. Well, Ben's coming back with hopefully our lunch, mate. Yeah, he's open. Getting a bit hungry, so. How do you get on, Bin Laden? Oh, not too bad. There's a bit more reef down there than I thought. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Are we eat, are we eating lunch? Are we eating climb Yeah. What's nice. Plan? Yeah. I like to hear. It does look like a relatively full bag you got there. A bit of this and a bit of that. Yep. A bit of variety. Oh, it's a little venture. Oh man. Oh, okay. Mussies. Alrighty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of, a couple of oysters. Oh, oysters. we've got some oysters. Oh, kinna. Kinna's. Kinna. Beauty. Mussels. Oh. Scallops. A banquet. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, man. A couple, a couple more scallies, a couple more oysters. And that is why you oh. have an underwater cameraman. Right. And is why you always bring your freedive gear with you. Oh. New Zealand. Legs into the cans these days, eh, Mick? Yeah, if the rose fat, eh, that's delicious. Yeah. How are we looking? Big fat orange, bro. Yeah. Not too bad. Not, not big, not huge. Oh, yeah, it's all right. Get not into bad. it. Get into it, Mick. Beautiful, man. 
Yum. So with a belly full of tasty kaimawana, it was time to point the Surtees south again to see if we could wrangle out that 10-pounder before the day was out. All right, we're just on our way off to our next spot and spotted these guys doing their thing again. So uh, I'm going to chuck down the Minn Kota, sit right here with the only boat here, so that's cool. And we'll uh, might try a little bit of a different technique here in this uh, working barge. Maybe put a couple of stray lines around and see if we can't drag out that challenge fish. So. You ready to go, Mick? Yeah, bro. Sweet. All right. Coming up tight on a... Oh, yeah, good run. Real good run. Yeah, I've got a shake, mate. Yeah, yep, got... Oh, 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 yeah, boys. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it's Beast. A Beast. Oh. Oh, snapper. Oh, I can't oh, even see. There's a shag there shake. trying to get that snapper. Trying to get... I've hooked a beast. So now we're stray lining in the uh, muscle boys, Mus muscle barges. Before we're flicking softies, well, Ben's still flicking softies, but Mick and I, you know, got stray lines out and hooked a pretty solid fish. Not going to see it. Can't see anything. Judging by that line angle, we'll be here in a second. Here he is. Oh, there he is. Hey! Nice. That might be the one. Hey, out of nowhere. The That's the one, I think. Mick, what do you reckon? We're yeah, mate, give away, gotta eh? It's got to be the challenge fish. Well, one of them. You. Oh, that's a beast. Nice. That's a beast. Look at that, eh? Well, we persevered with soft baits, and we only got up to about eight pounds. We stray lined without the barge, and we got up to about nine to ten pounds, and now we've yeah. cracked over it. Bang on. Awesome. Look those pliers. I know I'm working good. Cool. Yeah, look at the colours on them. What a stunning fish. That's got some weight too. Beauty. It's definitely over 10 pounds. I'm picking around about that sort of 12, 12, 13 pound mark. So stoked with that. Came on hard, just smashed the stray line. Let him run for a little bit. Bang, come up tight. That's the result. Beautiful snapper. Awesome fighting it out of the completely blind, dark water, eh, Mick? Yeah, that was fun. craziness, eh? Oh, let's put him straight back where he came from. Back in the drink. Let's hold him there for a sec, but he shouldn't be too buggered because he was only out of the water for a minute. There he goes. He'll be right. See you later, buddy. Just sorting himself out. There he goes. Back to the depths. Woo! Yeah, nice, bro. Chip. Sorted. All right. Another snapper coming through the foamy gunk trail that we can't see. Can't see how good it is. But that's all right, take that any day. Can't be far away, onto the leader. Oh, oh got a barrel reef. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty. Ah, not quite that challenge fish, but it's not far off. Get some nice wet hands, and I'll try not to handle this fish too much. We'll just get that jig head out. It's a good thing about soft baiting. Generally, hooks them in the corner of the mouth. Here we go. And then I can just, I'll just roll this fish out of the net, get him nice and low to the water. Roll him back out to the murky depths from which he came. Mean, another mean snapper. Epic. That was a crazy session, man. Gotcha. So good. Woo yeah. Hey, five big. I gave you two of them. So with the sun dropping, it was time to call it a day on the fishing, and unfortunately for Mig, it was straight on to his on-site consequence. Yeah, boy. I haven't got him in the face with a bit of bait yet. Oh, he just died. Oh. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us grow this channel and bring you guys way more content. 
And if you want to score some of our epic FANZ merch, then click the link in the description below, grab yourself a tea and a hat, and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure.